Welcome back to Armani's Math. Today we're at solving rational equations. How to solve rational equations. Here's the warm-up. And uh, we already gave you some time for the warm-up. And the timer is... Let me actually restart this. If you're watching this after the fact, I would put five minutes for that. I'm not going to wait for five minutes. I'm just saying when you watch it afterwards. Shout out to all the students who are on the live stream. All right, here we go. So I'm going to pause here. Uh, make sure that you finish that when you watch the video afterwards. All right. So I need somebody to help me out. How did we do number one? Here, yeah, did we do number one? All right. I see some champion answers coming up. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, it factor the three out. Uh, it says uh, here, factor the three out from these two elements. And uh, the six and the 12 uh, also will be factored out. So let me start with the top one, x plus one, divided by three, open parentheses, x plus <clears throat> plus two. We're hoping to simplify, by the way. So we're hoping to find similar uh, factors, similar parentheses, so we can uh, uh, cancel them out before we multiply. It's easier to simplify before you multiply. That's the, the main goal here. Uh, the top here is six and the 12. I'm going to take factor out of the six, as you guys told me. So it's x plus two. And at the bottom here, uh, we named this here. Um, we have a special name for this. Does anybody recall the name? Uh, I see that, Leila. Good job. Yep, I see that. Good job. Uh, difference of squared. That is very true. There's something being squared minus something else being squared. And we have a different, uh, we have a special f uh, factoring for that identity. So something be squared minus something, be squared. it's called difference of squares, it's subtraction of squares. So basically you have x minus 1, x plus 1. And since this is a multiplication, so this actually entire, this is a long fraction here for both of them. So I could just simplify top and bottom. So let's see what can I simplify. I've got x plus 1, x plus 1 is going to go away. x plus 2, x plus 2 is going to go away. And the 6 and the 3... This goes into itself one time, this goes into itself twice, two, it goes into three twice, I should say, which will leave me with two divided by x minus one. That's the answer for this. I see that, Jaron and uh, Delaney. Good job. All right, moving on to uh, number two. And number two, you have to do... <laughs> Woo! I have to <coughs> factor four, <laughs> four times. So let me factor four times. Uh, I have to factor four different times. Well, I have a tool here that I've used in the past, which was helpful. So I'm going to take number two and put it on its own page. Yep, because it does require a lot of work. I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. Okay, so how do I factor this? colossal fraction here well let's take a look how are you going to factor the top one here what factor method did we use to factor the top the quadratic here that diamond thank you some that is very true i factor using the diamond so this is x squared plus four x's plus three okay so what goes at the top of this diamond is a times c 
come on you guys a times c is three bottom is gonna give me four that's the b b is the four so this is a this is b this is c if you're not sure what we're doing here please watch the video that talks about factor uh, uh or solving quadratic equations in four different methods watch that video it's very beneficial um three and four so two numbers multiply give the top because this is a times c bottom is b and uh, when you add them you get the bottom three times one is three that works at the top thank you and three plus one is that is also going to work at the bottom the second question you ask yourself before you start uh, the circle uh, is a equal to one does a equal one if a equals one then you're good you just have to circle these and you should be golden these are going to be your factors not the solutions these are your factors so x plus three and x plus one these are your factors for the first oh my gosh yes we already have done the first one believe it or not so i'm going to take this here and replace it with x plus three x plus one and guess what? I have to go back and uh, factor a little bit more. Somebody talk to me about the bottom, about the denominator of this fraction here. We saw this one before. Oh, yes, we did. Here we go. Difference of squares. Something squared minus something squared. So what do you think is going to be the factors for this x squared minus 4? I like it when I see multiple users are typing. I see some of you are on the... Uh, whiteboards as well that's awesome x plus 2 x uh, x minus 2 any question on this one watch my video about factoring uh, special polynomials minus 2 all right here we go I have a desire uh, to end up with something I have hopes uh, my hopes are high to end up with something that I could cancel but I can't tell right now because I don't know what's inside here or what's in what's down here. I don't know. With one thing also, got to pay attention now. Look look for a second here. Before I do this flip thing, this is a division. This is a division. And I, because I did multiply and change that operation to multiplication, I have to flip the fraction right after it. See that? So that's going to be flip. So let's let's factor out the denominator now. So help me out. I'm going to have to factor out the denominator, which is x, which now becomes the top, right? You're going to have to flip these. This has to flip like that when you multiply. So x squared minus 6x plus 8. Uh, who's that, Delaney? Is that, <laughs> is that a sibling? <laughs> Delaney, I said hi. I have awesome kids as well. Come on, have him come. Maybe he's going to be a doctor one day engineer teach pre-calc okay guys so i've got uh, x squared minus 6x plus 8 how do i factor this out what goes at the top i've got 8 and i have uh negative 6 i'm not joking i have my two-year-old levi who he's uh, he's now actually in uh, pre-calc so he's doing fine uh, two numbers multiply give you eight same numbers add give you negative six what could these numbers be negative four and uh, negative two let's see if that's true negative four we're trying things by the way so negative four times negative two that's eight that works at the top negative four minus two that's negative six. that also works at the bottom good so let's see two things here x minus four x minus two okay i'm going to replace that with what i've got at the top over here so i've got x minus 4 x minus 2 if you're doing good in the live stream give me something uh yes yeah, here present or something or you're doing fine and the last one uh is gonna be this dude here the x squared plus 2x minus 3 and i mean i have to erase a little bit here so i can solve that as well or i could go this side maybe i could go this side let me go this side that's what I said your page today is going to be full, uh, particularly when we talk about some other fractions coming up soon. 
So now I need to factor uh, the x squared plus the 2x minus the 3. Okay, who's going to help me factor this one out? I see negative 3 at the top. Thank you, Delaney. How about uh, somebody else? Uh, two at the bottom. Thank you, uh, Leila. And uh, what do you think the numbers are? Clarissa, good job there. Three and negative one from Jan. Let's try this out. Three times negative one, that's negative three. Three minus one is two. Yep, that looks good. Does A equal to one? If A equals one, we're good. So I just have to circle these and we should be on our merry way. X plus three, X minus one. Okay, so that's going to replace what I've got on this side. Let me scoot over. X plus 3, X minus 1. X plus 3, X minus 1. <clears throat> Whew. I know, it takes time, but it's worth it. Here we go. Uh, get your Fruit Ninja and start taking care of things here so watch up I got x plus 3 any x plus 3 yep I see one here how about x plus 1 gotcha -cha. with x plus 1 Whew. x minus 4 nope x minus 2 oh yeah and I am looking at uh, x minus 4 at the top divided by x plus 2 as laborious as that problem was, we were able to figure this out. Okay. Uh, again, you have the link to the video, so in case we need to go back to it for uh, on a slower pace. Number three says uh, solve. Now, this one need me to come up with a solution. I really have to come up with a value for x solve and then check your answer in this lesson you've got to check the answers because sometimes we're going to end up with answers that do not work we call them extraneous answers so uh, you you wonder sometimes i thought this is the answer yes it is but it doesn't work so now let's take a look here uh is there any way for me to simplify this before i start multiplying and do weird stuff Uh, no, Emily, that was x minus 1 with x minus 1. There was a negative and a positive there uh, in the previous problem. Uh, x, can I do something here? How can I simplify this? How can I factor this out? Is Does this remind me of something? A special... Identity here. Oh, yes, exactly. Difference of squares is something being squared, which is hap which happens to be the two x, by the way, and something else being squared, which is the one. So two x plus one, two x minus one. By the way, when you factor stuff like this, you 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 hope to find things that cancel, and that's the reason we're factoring. By the way. Uh, in this concept today. We're trying to find things that simplify our life before we just start hacking things and, and uh, multiplying. So make your life easy before you start multiplying. 2x minus 1, I see that is repetitive here, top and bottom, so I could take care of that, which will give me a simple 2x plus 1 equals 9. I'm going to um, subtract from both sides 1, so that's going to give me 2x equals 8. 2x equals 8. I would divide by 2. X is going to equal to 4. The question is, does X equal to 4 uh, uh, give me a, a solution? The answer is yes. It does give you a solution. See that? Uh, X equals 4. So the other question is, can I check it? Oh, yes, you need to, because in this lesson, you're going to find solutions that do not work. Okay, so let's, this is a check. So somebody gave me 4 times 4 squared. What is 4 squared?
16. How about 16 times 4? That's a 64. Thank you. And I've got uh, at the bottom here, I've got 2 times 4 minus 1. We're asking if this guy equals to, we're not sure, equals to 9. So I've got 64 minus 1, that's a 63, divided by uh, 8 minus 1, that's 7. Uh, 9 times 7, does that equal to 63? According to Layla, she's saying this is true. 9 equals 9, and that is also a true statement. Yep, that works. That does work. Whew, good Lord. This was just a warm-up. Okay. Uh, if you're watching this, and if I ask about an assignment for this, please don't just give me what I just put here as the answer. Please don't do that. You know that I'm not going for the answer, right? Uh, lately I've been uh, noticing a lot of good work from you guys. I really have to praise that work. All of you are stepping up. Jaren, I'm sorry, you have a lot of competition now. <laughs> a lot of competition in class. I could show you a couple examples. You guys have been uh, stepping up. It's a very, very wonderful thing. And um, I believe it's going to benefit you, by the way. So It's not for me. I don't take these and decorate the walls of my house with it. It's for you. You could do it at your house. Okay, objective. Uh, I will be able to solve rational equations and determine extraneous solutions. What are you going to do, Armani? I will be able to do, or to solve rational equations. What, what is rational equations? Well, rational equations are equations that have fractions, but with variables on top or the bottom of that fraction. So it's not just a fraction. Otherwise, we could just put the word fraction. Rational means you have some variables uh, either the top or the bottom or both of the fraction. Uh, give me one word from the objective, please, either in the live chat, uh, I should say, uh, comment on the live stream or the chat or the whiteboard. All will be awesome. Rational, extraneous, solve. Uh, we said that one of the real-life examples or applications of uh, rational equations is probably found in some uh, pharmaceutical uh, manufacturing manufacturers plants and uh, where they uh, uh, put these equations perhaps in a software and stuff with uh, will building for example prescription drugs and uh, compounding the chemistry of it so that's one example uh, there is another one actually for also uh, uh, resistors on the motherboard of computers and stuff uh, but anyways if you have more examples definitely you could share them here or you could also help us in the chat. Uh, this one says multiply, simplify, and assume all the expressions are defined. Uh, they're, ask, they're basically telling you x should not be zero here, right? Because if it's zero, that means it's undefined. So they're saying this, we got you covered for that, x is fine. Uh, I will take a look at this one uh, again because it looks like we've done something similar to that in the past. But I have x here, so I'm going to start to chop, chop. Let's talk about the numbers first. This 15 is going to go over uh, 3. Gonna give uh, Over 5 is going to give you 3. 20 over 5 is going to give you a 4. The 2 and the 4 are also going to be simplified. The 2 is going to go to the uh, itself one time. And the 4 is going to go into the 2 twice x times x7 that's x8 okay uh actually hold on i could take this x away with this x that's gone uh x i got four x's here and got um seven x's at the bottom at the top so i've got basically three x's left and uh so this means i have uh, two x cubed divided by three uh, here it is in a nicely formatted way. 2x cubed divided by 3. Uh, how about this one here? Multiply and simplify. Assume uh, that all expressions are defined. Again, you don't have to worry about uh, about the uh, x being 0 in this case uh, or some other numbers that makes the denominator undefined. They're saying that everything is fine. just have to simplify and multiply. Okay, I can't really just start hacking multiplying because it's going to be a headache. So that's why you've got to do what? You've got to see if there's commonalities, common uh, factors you could uh, take things out. So 10 and a 40, what do you think, guys, I'm going to take? What do you think I'm going to take with a 10 and a 40 here? 
yes, I'm going to take the 10. So I'll open the 10 as common factor x minus 4. My hopes, my hopes are to end up with x minus 4 somewhere here at the bottom so I can cancel. Would, does this happen? 90% uh, of the time it has happened. Could it not happen? Yeah. So uh, what do you think I'm going to do with the uh, bottom one? Do you know what's inside x squared minus 6x plus 8? I don't. So what do you do? Well, we know what to do by now. We spend a lot of time on the warm-up and we know what to do. The diamond. Yes, we've got to diamond. X squared minus 6x plus 8. And I've got to diamond this thing here. All right. At the top, I got it because it's A times C. At the bottom, I got negative 6. Negative 6 at the bottom. Bottom. <laughs> uh, two numbers multiply gives you 8. Same numbers add gives you a negative 6. Suggest so numbers. Be loud and proud. Somebody's saying negative 4 and uh, negative 2 or 2? Negative 2. Let's see that. Negative times negative is positive. That is 8. I look, that looks good. Negative, yep, that also looks good here. Second question, does A equal 1? Then we're good. You don't have to divide by anything. Just circle what you've got. By the way, you could also divide by 1. I mean, if that's what... If you want to be fascistous about this, you could divide by 1. Who wants to be fascistous about this? Fascistous. 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 So I'm going to replace uh, the bottom here with uh, x minus 4 and x minus 2. Give myself more room here. This is multiplied by. And can I simplify the top? It's already simplified the money. I could simplify the bottom. Take the 5 out. x plus 3. Oof, I hope. And let me see if my hopes are. Yes! Look! Ay, ay, ay. I got this dude with that dude. Bye bye. I got this young lady with that. And they're, they're gone. Thank you. Oh, how about the 10 and the 5? Well, you still could do that. Uh, the 5 goes itself one time. And the 10 is twice in the 5. The 5 is twice in the 10. So uh, basically, at the top, I've got 2 times nobody. At the bottom, I got x minus 2. x minus 2. Okay. What do you guys think? Are we good? All right, so let's move on. I see myself looking at good answers here. Okay, this one says uh, solve and check. So let's solve this one. Uh, I really have to keep going here. We've got to catch up. So x squared minus uh, 25. Uh, does any, uh, here we go. Leila just said difference of squares. That is very true. Uh, x plus 5. By the way, it doesn't matter which one you start with. x minus 5. Divided by x minus 5. Equals 14. Well, again... Bleep, bleep. x equals x plus 5 equals 14 x equals uh, 14 minus 5 is how much? 9 thank you uh, 
do I can I plug in uh, nine? Can you check nine? Can you check nine if it works? It works good. Yes, it does. How about this dude here? It says simplify identify x values. Now they're being more explicit here. They're saying identify x values for which the expression is undefined. So there will be spots that the expression would be undefined. Uh, hold off, please, on the private chats. Uh, 3x plus 4, I can't do anything about it at the moment. I The only hope is to hopefully end up with something similar down here that I could simplify. Well, and that's I'm just, just what I'm hoping for. Um, okay, so that's going to be uh, me trying to factor out 3x squared plus x minus 4. And I'm going to do that again with a diamond. So negative 12, A times C. A is uh, 3, B, C. And uh, the B is 1. What do you think the numbers are? Uh, what do you think the numbers are? Somebody's suggesting 4 and negative 3. Let's see if that works. That works at the top. And that actually works at the bottom as well. Uh, with one caveat, is A equal 1? Does A equal 1? I'm going to be very careful. got to divide by that A in this case. So I've got to divide this by 3. Divide this by 3. Dividing this by 3 is going to give me a negative 1 here, which is fine. And this is one that's going to just stay the way it is. I've got basically x uh, minus 1 times x uh, plus 4 thirds. Okay. Also, I want to point out that uh, there is uh, another f uh, shape of x plus 4 thirds. You might also see this one, this x minus 1 times 3x plus 4. What you're doing here is basically multiplying this dude here by 3 and this dude here by 3. So multiply this by 3, multiply this by 3. That's going to give you so both of these are uh, interchangeably you could use either and both of them when you multiply out they will get you the exact uh quadratic at the top so um and i have at the top three x plus four divided by x minus one and x and the three x plus four okay which is does serve the purpose of canceling here and in this case I'm going to end up with uh, 1 divided by x minus 1. Uh, take your time when you re review this uh, video afterwards. They're saying that uh, once you found this, these two uh, uh, solutions, so x equals 1, x equals, there's a negative here, by the way, uh, x equals negative, negative uh, 4 thirds. Uh, this guy here is negative. x equals negative 4 thirds. What they're saying is you, you basically, you, the expression is undefined on these two values. So because they make the denominator 0, if you put, for example, 1 here, that's going to make this guy a 0. 0 times anything is a 0. Uh-oh, that's not good, because you're going to end up with something like that. Well, I shouldn't even have a green color for that. Something like this. You're going to end up with something like that. If you put if you put 1, that's what you're going to get. If you put also, if you also put uh, a negative 4 thirds here, 
you will end up with a zero, which again is going to give you that. So be careful. Even they look they look fine, but you have to exclude them from your uh, solution. Okay, here comes the fun part. Uh, cheer up! We are moving towards uh, the realm of solving rational equations. Uh, Everything looks fine here with one exception. What really aches me here is what? What do you think I'm hovering over at the moment here? What's yucky? What's yucky? Yucky? What's yucky here? Multiple users are typing. Exactly. I don't want this X here. Come on. It's a denominator. This makes the thing a fraction. I'm not a fraction freak. So I have to get rid of the denominator at the bottom. I have to get rid of that. And you get rid of that by multiplying everybody by that. You get rid of the uh, denominator by multiplying everyone by it. And by everyone, I mean everybody who lives there. So x times the whole thing times x plus 2 over x equals 3 times the x as well. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what you do. So let's take this one step at a time. So x times x is x times x, plus, again, x times 2 over x. I'm doing this so I could get rid of the fraction. I will end up with just a linear, simple equation uh, with no fractions. And in this case, I actually am looking at x times x is x squared. And here comes the fun part. This x is going to cancel this x. Okay, let me just make myself uh, make this look better. This x here is going to go bye bye with this x, and it's going to leave me with uh, with uh, two e equals three x. To uh, simplify, remember you got to solve. That's what they're asking you to solve. That means I have to make this look like a quadratic equation I could solve. Subtract 3x from both sides. So x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. And then obviously from here you know what to do about the diamond, right? So I'm going to put the diamond here. And then again try to... How many diamonds do I have done today? Well, that's a lot of diamonds. My goodness. x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. And that's going to be a 2 minus 3 uh, suggestions. 2 minus 3. Two numbers multiply gives you 2. Subtract gives you 3. Negative 1, negative 2. Let's see if that is true. Negative 1, that's positive 2. That works here. Negative, negative, yep, that works here as well. And because A is 1, I'm ready, so I'm just going to circle these. And I'm going to just move forward. Uh, x minus 1 is one of them, and x minus 2 is another one. So you're going to put that equal to 0, obviously. So by the zero product property, you're saying this, uh, this fraction here, this x minus 1 and x minus 2 equals 0. And you just have to solve by zero product property, x equals to 1 and x equals to 2. Okay, now we're jolly and we're happy. Let's see if these would work. Do I have any limitations on these? Are these extraneous? Would these work? Well, let me put the one. If I put the one here, two divided by one is okay. I have no problem with that. Whatever the number is gonna be. I'm only, uh, by the way, right now, I'm only checking for extraneous solution. I'm not checking if the answer is gonna work or not. And what about if I, what if I put two? Well, let's put two here. Two over two is one, that's fine. Now, whether it's correct or not, you, that's the, your job to, do, to check the answer. Check both of them. All well, what I did right now is check if they are extraneous, and they were not. They don't give me. Uh, uh, they don't give me something like this, right? I don't have anything like that, so it's good. Okay. Uh, here we go. We have another one here that looks like this. We have uh, x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals 1. Can somebody tell me what really aches me here? What bothers me here? 
not just the ex, uh, Leila and Selma. Yep, the whole thing is bothering me, Macy. That's right. The whole thing is bothers me. X minus three. So guess what? You've got to get rid of that denominator. So every single one will be multiplied by this guy here. Basically, x minus 3 times this whole thing. x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals 1 times x minus 3. Yep, just like that. So um, x times x minus 3. Let's slow down a bit here. x minus 3 times the x doesn't matter which where you want to put it it's plus x minus 3 times 1 over x minus 3 remember you are you were distributing basically to here and to here and to here everybody's gonna get that uh, equals well that's just itself right by by one that means x minus 3 okay here comes the fun one uh, you do the hard work here, then you're going to just uh, get uh, some rest after that. So that's good. I like that. X times X squared. Well, it turns out to be that I have to distribute this as well, right? So X times X squared is X. X times X, I should say, is X squared minus 3X's. And uh, uh, I wanted to point, point out that uh, this guy here, how much would be left here? This here. What's left when this guy's gone and done? Yeah, when it's all done here, you end up with 1. Don't forget, there's a 1 here. So plus 1 equals x minus 3. Let's keep going here. Be patient here. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. And this means I'm going to end up with x squared minus 4x's minus 1 equals negative 3. Add the 3 to both sides, you're going to end up x squared minus 4x's. That's plus 3 here. Uh, plus 3, that's going to give you what? Plus 3 gives me what? 2. Plus 2 equals 0. And I also don't know what's what's I don't know what's inside here, so I have to take what this one and do what? Can, can anybody tell me? What do you think is my plan here? What do I plan to do? Yeah, diamond again or money? Yeah, and it's if you know a different way. Which I'm, there is there are some different ways. This is probably the most easier among them all, but. Okay, so what do you guys think? Uh, what's what goes at the top here? What goes at the top? Wait, wait. Plus one changes to minus one. Uh, yes. Who noticed that? By the way, Salma. Good job, Salma. And Salma Cordell. Yep. There's a boo boo. There's a boo boo here. This guy here actually is staying plus one by the way I have a solution I have the solution it's somewhere in the slide but that's a good catch this is a plus one plus three that's gonna give me a positive four so this actually is gonna be a four equals zero and uh, four goes at the top negative four at the bottom what do you think Two, two would not work. Negative two, negative two would work. A is one, so this is fine. Just circle these. X minus two and uh, <clears throat> X minus two or X minus two to the second power equals zero. Well, this is X minus two and X minus two equals zero. By the zero product property, either of them would be equal to zero x minus 2 equals 0, x equals 2. And same thing here, x minus 2 equals 0, x equals 2. 
Okay, if you have something here repeated, what do you call this in math? If you have the same zero, same solution that is repeated. Does anybody recall what we call that? There's a, here we go, Donovan. Multiplicity. Multiplicity. So basically what you're saying here, this is the same as saying x minus 2 squared equals 0. There's a multiplicity of 2 in this case. A quick review. If you have a multiplicity of 2, it's an even number. Do you go through the axis or just barely kiss the axis and leave? <laughs> barely touch it and leave. That's right. If it's odd, you actually go through the axis. Uh, we're reviewing for that quiz, by the way. Here we go. Okay. Uh, now, after you do this work, you gotta ch check check it out if it's gonna work. So if I put two here, uh, uh, two minus three, that's fine. I could have that. There's no restrictions on that. How about this dude here? Well, again, you have to do something about the denominators. So what do you think? Which one do you think I'm gonna need to multiply by to get rid of uh, denominators? I was very specific. I said denominators, not denominator. <laughs> Least common denominator. Exactly. I can't just do the X because there's a two waiting. This two is waiting. How about me? How about me? Well, yeah, you have to be included. So the least common denominator for this case here has to include all denominators. Least common denominator. It has to include the x and the 2. The container has to be big enough to contain both the 2 and also the x. Yeah, it's got to have both of them, not just one of them. Okay, so the whole spiel would be multiplied by 2x. What side are money? All of them? All sides? Yes, all sides. So basically, you're saying 2x times 4 over x plus 2x times 5 over 2 equals negative 11 over x times 2x, just like that. Uh, X's are going to go ba ba, bleep bleep, which is going to leave you with 8 plus the 2 and the 2 are going to go ba ba, leaving you with 5 X's. The X and the X are going to go ba ba, which is going to leave you with negative 22. Okay, so what are you going to do here? Subtract, add. Uh, 5x's is going to give you negative 2, 2 minus 8. 5x is going to give you th negative 30. Well, I'm interested in 1x, not 5x's. So divide by 5, x should give you uh, negative 6. Okay, does this work? Well, let's check it. Can I put negative 6 here? Yep, there's no problem. Can I put negative 6? Yep, there's no problem. So I, I should not exclude that value. And to check it again, you just have to plug it in and check. I have to speed up a little bit here. Okay, uh, t plus t, 12 over t minus 8 equals 0. What aches me here? What bothers me here? It's the t, it's the denominator. Hello. Yellow. Exactly. Multiply every single one by the T. Let the T begin. So T times T is T squared. Plus I've got T times this dude here, which is uh, a 12. And I've got minus 8 T's. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm looking at a quadratic again. Minus 8 T's minus plus 12 equals 0. Well, guess what? Um, 
take your time and multiply this out okay uh, I need to uh, keep going here so I got a 12 at the top a negative 8 at the bottom two numbers multiply gave you that and add gave you a negative 8 what do you think the numbers are the numbers for this one here uh, somebody suggesting Delaney suggesting negative 6 and uh, negative 2 let's see if that is true that works at the top negative uh, negative that works at the bottom as well thank you these two numbers work so the second question does a equal one yep it does uh, I've got myself two factors to uh, to put that to zero set that equal to zero all right so the two factors I'm gonna put them here that's gonna give me x minus 6 x minus 2 equals 0 well again by the zero product property you know this is x equals 6 and x equals 2 uh, can I plug in 6 yep you could can you want to plug in 2 would not would would that give me an undefined nope it should be fine so now it's uh, again for you to check both solutions but both of these are solutions I have no restrictions what what is that what is awkward about this picture what do you have to take out of this picture to make things look fine come on you guys <laughs> who put that <laughs> The man, okay, Nathan. It's, it's the denominator. You gotta take that out. <laughs> I bet you're not gonna forget this for a long time, for years to come. This is what happens when you have a rational fraction, rational equation. You've got to take care of that bottom. You gotta erase that thing, delete that, okay? You got to take care of that denominator. Extraneous solutions. When you, we multiply or divide an equation by an expression containing variables, we might end up with a different solution. Interesting. Extraneous solutions. Solutions that are not solutions of the... What? Solutions that are not solutions? Yeah. Solution, when you plug them back, they're not going to work. Uh, for this reason, we must check the solution in the original equation. Okay, let's see. Uh, solve you solve and check okay solve and check well first thing first I hope to find something here that gives me some comfort and that comfort is ca canceling things so let's see if I could cancel things cancel things okay I can't really cancel things until I know what's inside that x squared x squared plus 3x minus 10 I don't know what's inside I'm just hoping to find x minus 2 I could or I could not I may I may not negative 10 at the top that's a times c 3 at the bottom two numbers multiply give you uh, give you negative 10 add give you that what in the world what's going on here hello hello what these two numbers might be 5 and negative 2 let's try that five or negative two uh that works at the top yep thank you that works at the top and the bottom dylan i see that so uh uh basically again i'm ready because my fact my a is one so i've got two different potential uh two potential answers here which is x plus five <clears throat> and x minus two equal to zero obviously or in this case I should not equating I'm not equating them to zero I'm just gonna find the factors so replacing this with factors X plus 5 X minus 2 oh aren't we blessed here we are blessed look at that I have X minus 2 at the bottom we're blessed with many things in this life by the way you guys we are fortunate yes indeed thank God we are alive breathing x minus 5 equals 7 subtract from that from both sides x equals 2 <clears throat> x equals what 2 x equals what 2 okay 
Well, let's see if that's gonna work. If I put two here, I'm gonna take two and put it. Does that cause an issue? Oh yeah, there is a there's a problem here. Yeah, there's a problem. If I put two here, that's gonna make this guy something divided by zero equals seven. Well, that's undefined. You can't there's no solution to this thing. Because you don't have a value for zero. So this should not work. Basically, even though you have a solution, it's called extraneous solution. There's no solution. There's no solution here. Yep, extraneous solution. All right. <clears throat> It is undefined. There's there's no solution. Oh my gosh. Here comes a big one, okay? Here comes a big one. So I need you to close your eyes for a few seconds and take a deep breath. Here comes a big one. Okay. This is the one that I talked about. You might need to orient your page in a, in a... Amador, focus. Orient your page in uh, uh, landscape, okay? Landscape. So it might be enough for the entire line because we will be multiplying by a big number. Um, here we go. What aches me here? What bothers me here? Well, there's a lot of things, but in this problem. Exactly, that denominator, or a denominators. So I've got x minus 3, x minus 1, and there's something hitting this guy here. There's some something about this sleeve here. There's something up, up the sleeves here. I don't know what's here. So I have to factor this out to know what's in here, in the hopes that some of these will be repeated. So I don't have to multiply this humongous thing by four different binomials. So let's uh, let's uh, take it and uh, see. I will put this here and try to factor out this uh, quadratic in the hopes again to end up with something that is similar to similar to my other denominator. So I don't have to multiply by four different binomials. I've got x squared minus four x plus 3, and I have to factor this out. Okay, uh, we know that the... Can somebody tell me what's ABC here? ABC. And by somebody, I mean all of us. Don't wait for your friend to give me the answer. A is 1. B is... B is what? Come on, you guys. B is what? Negative 4, that's true. Yes, I see that Cordell. C equals 3. Okay. Okay, ABC. You got to know my ABC. Why? Because next time you're going to sing with me. Uh, a, C at the top, A times C at the top, and B at the bottom. Bottom. Uh, I see myself looking at <clears throat> 1 times 3. That's 3. And this guy's negative 4. Two numbers multiply gives you 3. Add gives you negative 4. What could these numbers be? <clears throat> be just change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. Uh, negative 3. Somebody's suggesting negative 3 and negative 1. Let's try that. Negative 3 times negative is positive. Negative 3 minus 1, that's also a negative uh, 4. Negative 3 minus 1, that's negative 4. Yep, that works as well. Okay, good. So basically, I've got two things here, two suggested, I uh, shouldn't say two suggested, two factors, actually, uh, and then x minus 1. All right, let's go here and see if I could just replace this dude with that. So I've got x, 1 over x minus 3, that's too big of a fraction here, plus, 
second fraction is 2x divided by x equals, I've got 2 over, and I've got this guy here, x minus 3 and x minus 1. Oh my gosh. Guess what? We are blessed again because these two are repeated. This one is found here, which saves me time. And this one here is also found in this fraction. So basically the least common denominator is actually going to be only two items instead of four items. Just imagine if this was a plus and plus. <laughs> if this was a plus and plus, positive and positive, you have to multiply this whole thing by four different binomials. But again, another blessing in life. So, even though we're going to multiply by two of them, I will need you to take a room, make room. So we're going to make room because it's going to be humongous. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to say my least uh, common uh, denominator is going to be x minus 3 and x minus 1. That's the container big enough to contain all these four items because they're repeated. So guess what? That's what you're going to have to multiply by every single one of them. x minus 3. Put your page in, in, uh, in a landscape orientation. x minus 1 times the first one. <laughs> So basically what you're going to do is going to take this here. Look at that. Multiply the least common by every single one who lives there. Okay, so that's going to be multiplied by 1 over x minus 3. Oh, Lord. Plus uh, 2x over x minus 1. Okay, equals. Again, 2 over x minus 3 x minus 1 times x minus 3 x minus 1 I know what you're thinking right now I know I know but again we're blessed don't forget that so now we're going to do what well you're going to have to distribute our money you're going to take this blob and times the first fraction this blob times the second fraction this blob times this side. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Hang in there. X minus 3 times X minus 1 times the first fraction. 1 over X minus 3. Plus. Again? Yeah, of course again. X minus 3 x minus 1 times what? Times the second fraction, which is 2x over x minus 1. Is that it, Armani? No. You're going to have to do the other side as well. Equals. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, I've got x minus 3, x minus 1 times, that's what I said, put your page in uh, landscape orientation. Got 2 over x minus 3 x minus 1 wow good lord okay let's take one thing at a time i'm going to go to the beginning of this fraction in the hopes to cancel stuff out well that was the reason that's why that's that is the main reason for me finding the least common denominator so look here i could chop this that's gone. That's gone. I could chop this here. Bleep. Bleep. That's gone. And let me chop the other one as well. Oh, this is the most beautiful of them. Wow, this is going to be the most attractive one. Look here. This is x minus 3. is going to go bye-bye with x minus 3. This good-looking x minus 1 is going to go bye-bye with x minus 1. What's left on this side of the equal sign, by the way? <laughs> oh my goodness. This whole thing reduces to two? Yeah. Yeah. 
So what, what's left in this guy? I have x minus 1 here. Let me be consistent with colors here. x minus 1. Okay, and uh, I need to pay more attention to this dude here. x minus 1 times 1 is just x minus 1. Plus, how about here? I've got 2x times x minus 3. So basically 2x times x minus 3 equals. You just told me that this is just going to be a 2 on this side of the equal sign okay uh, I am not gonna neglect this is also gonna be multiplied this is gonna be distributed here so uh, this is x minus 1 plus 2x squared minus 6x is equals 2 and uh, I'm gonna just uh, tidy up things a little bit here this looks like a quadratic to x squared and I've got this, uh, I've got x minus 6x's. How much is that? Thank you. 5x's. And I've got minus 1 equals 2. Again, just tidy things up a little bit here. I've got 2x squared minus 5x. 2x squared minus 5x. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have a negative 2. So subtracting that's a negative 3 equals 0. Basically, I subtracted 3. And now I have to do what if you're solving? <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do here? I will have to do the diamond. You've got to diamond again uh, with 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0. And uh, what do you think I'm going to put at the top? What's AC here? What's ABC? Come on, champions. We're almost at the end of class here. Uh, A is 2. Uh, B is negative 5. And C is C is negative 3. So I've got to put negative, uh, negative 6 at the top. And uh, negative 5. Uh, somebody suggest numbers for us here. Two numbers multiply. Give you the top. A times C at the top. And B is the bottom. Uh, somebody said again, uh, somebody said, was it negative 6? Negative 6. And this one I'm going to do with negative 6 and, uh, and 1. So now we have to divide by the A. That's a negative 3. And this guy is going to be uh, 1 half. So 3, uh, I should say X. X minus 3 x plus 1 half equals 0 x equals 3 x equals negative 1 over 2 <clears throat> good job there awesome job now let's see if these would work can I see if this would work let's see if there's any extraneous can I plug in 3 can I plug in negative negative uh, a half can I plug in 3? I can't plug in 3. I have a problem with 3. See that? There's an issue with 3 here. Extraneous. 3 is extraneous. Uh, 1 half should be fine. Negative 1 half, I should say. It should be fine. Okay, uh, this should conclude our lesson for today. Uh, looks like we're hungry here, so with this I'm going to conclude our lesson. Be blessed wherever you're at. I'll be here or a few questions if you have any for me. Uh...